Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Monty, and in today's video, I will try to explain you how Crystal Monster has become very powerful support unit and every single deck, maybe except Genie, plays it right now in the top leaderboard. And uh, just to say that uh, it is very, very powerful. It was played with only Necromancer in the past. Now it is played with uh, Zeus as well and with other heroes just uh, like mermaid gadget as well i saw that people play it it is very powerful especially that uh, after which got nerfed many decks cannot play witch anymore because they cannot maintain a uh, high merchants of the witch so why is crystal monster even played i will try to explain that and yeah uh let's jump into it all right to specify why crystal monster has become very powerful support unit one of the best support units right now and uh, we have to talk about his base stats so basically his very high attack speed unit especially if you uh, give him uh, tiers 7 merge ranks which with his talents is pretty pretty easy uh, because it's getting merge ranks each time you kill a boss uh, as you can see 0.07 seconds attack interval and when you combine it with crystal arcanist uh, and level 15 talent it is basically uh, auto shredding armor just because uh, with each attack crystal monster crystal arcanist with the left side uh, level 9 talent it is reducing armor of the monster by 0.5 percent up to 100 percent so in combination crystal monster with trapper is getting a lot a lot and big numbers uh, of the armor shred reduction Basically, that's why it is being played. It is boosting your damage incredibly well. And that is the reason why people play it. Uh, you mainly build two of them at, at max. You don't want more of them. Two is enough. Some people even play one. Weird, but uh, yeah, preferably preferable number is two. And uh, yeah, let's talk about the deck. Of course, it's a Bart. Bart is back in the game. As you can see, 6 minutes, 25 seconds. I saw people reaching 7 minutes, uh, 7 minutes, 10 seconds even uh, on the leader, Deathwave leaderboard. You can check it out. Uh, so yeah, let's let's start with the equipment. Of course, you, if you play Night Statue and you played left side uh, level 13 on Bard, you want to play Sword. Uh, you can play Chainmail, you can play Mage Robes, you can play uh, Hunter's Jacket. All of them are good. Uh, you can play a knight's armor as well if you have it most people don't have it so yeah uh amulet of growth i wouldn't play amulet of growth with this deck i would mainly focus on uh, amulet of swiftness um but i see that one of my clan mates zero doesn't have it and uh, so yeah he is basically forced to play it um about the talents it's all left on, on Bart. I wouldn't recommend playing right side talent just because at the end of the death wave, at the end of the games, you cannot allow yourself to sit there for 3 or 4 seconds without attacking monsters. So you have to uh, just press the ability and deactivate, the, de deactivate it uh, half a second later just to get the bonus and that's it. Uh, for the scrapper, it's pretty simple as many decks uh, play it as well. Uh, for Night Statue, you play Sharpened, you play two Night Statues, uh, and uh, left, 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 right, of course. Uh, for the Crystal Monster, like I showed, left, right, right. Some people played left, left, right, just to get uh, those Crystal Monster with crystals a, a little bit faster with higher chance. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, hopefully you understood uh, the idea, and now I will try to show you, explain uh, how does it work. Hey you! Yes you! Do you still buy things directly in the game client? Come on, you know it's much better to purchase on the market. It's so simple. You just go into the Rushrail official market or you can just click in the link in the description. Choose any item you want and after that, if you want to support me, you can use my creator code MANTI and enter any message you want to me. You have plenty of payment methods there as well. That's one of the best ways to become even better player than you are right now. For all those who support me, big thanks guys, and stay awesome. Alright, and we are in the game. As you can see, uh, Zoro is facing, of course, the well-known Sultan Genie. Um, 
So, the most important part in this deck uh, is your placement of Knight Statues. As you can see, uh, he, uh, he is having perfect eyes in my opinion. Uh, he could even uh, leave the Knight Statue to buff the last Zero style, but he doesn't have to. Uh, all he has to do is to find Knight Statue uh, in the middle, basically in the middle, to buff all of his four Zero styles. Then just place your Accordionist on those four tiles. Then place your second Knight Statue to buff your Crystal Monsters to, uh, to have them attack even faster. And then have one or even two Trappers and just scrap away, get inspiration, scrap away, get inspiration. Pretty pretty uh, straightforward deck once you uh, set up your board. The setting up your board is the, uh, the hardest part uh, and the only hard part in my opinion, uh, just because you don't play Harlequin, so it is quite hard because you are, um, yeah, you are basically uh, forced to scrub away everything that you don't need and pray that you are gonna get what you want and need uh, so that can take you a while but once you are set up it is pretty simple you just scrub away get your inspiration stuck away uh, scrub away and get your inspiration once again uh, to activate your parts on the bosses and throughout the um, the wave it's pretty simple if you ever played part uh, you should know that um, I think the, the reason why they, they started playing um, Mage Robs is because of the uh, mana luck. Uh, Scrapper decks are mana hungry, very mana hungry, so maybe that is the reason why they started playing uh, Mage Robs. But uh, as you can see uh, in this, this game, that uh, it just proves that you can play it and win against the top one deck in current meta. So yeah, let's see how, we, how he will set up and then we will... Um, jump at the end of the game of the death wave and see how it finished so yeah as you can see he will now try to fill up his board uh, just to have all the units and then just try to place his knight statue first and uh, of course crystal master accordionists and uh, trappers as well it's not an easy task, especially against mage, mage ropes, uh, just because you are lacking that additional mana. Uh, but later in the game, uh, that mage ropes will have uh, less value, in my opinion, um, than, for example, Chainmail, Hunter's Jacket, Knight's Armor. Uh, because you will get lots and lots and lots of mana in Deathwave, uh, because they increase that. As you can see, he already placed one Knight Statue and uh, one Crystal Monster. He will now... Uh, oh, he has both both Knight Statues. Sorry, yeah. Both Knight Statues. So now all he has to do uh, is to basically uh, scrap away, get his Merjanks on Knight Statue. If you want to be extra safe, I would recommend placing uh, Knight Statue on the, one of the Zero Styles. But if you don't have any other option, of course, it is uh, just simpler uh, to place it not on zero style and pray that you're gonna get those merge ranks from scrapper so yeah let's fast forward uh, as you can see uh, he's not having much troubles uh, he set up his board on second wave sometimes it can even last nine seconds until you uh, set up your board and uh, so we'll see how it goes he has one double tile uh, in the middle He's not getting that much inspiration because he needs to set up his board first. That's why I said setting up your board is the hardest part just because you are not allowed to build up your inspiration unless you have your set up uh, your board fully set up. Right, second accordion is, is on uh, the board. Uh, now, in my opinion, he should start getting inspiration to 150 uh, to set up his third uh, accordionist. Thank uh, thankfully, with Knight Snatch, you don't have to worry about uh, sword stacks, uh, just like in any other Bard uh, deck. So you can merge your accordionists whenever you want. It will not mess up your board, not mess up your damage. Um, all right, so. I see that he has tier tier seven bard, regular bard, on his one of his zero styles. So now he will be forced basically to 
uh, place one of his bards on the amulet tile, I think. Maybe that was his uh, main plan, but we'll see how it will go. I will fast forward until like minute 3, minute 4 even, because as you can see it's very simple gameplay. Uh, my only concern is how many how many accords? He has two, three accords. Why? Why is that? Maybe he's looking to ma get merge drunk on this guy and and then get four accordionist. Four. Yeah, that is strange, but we'll see how it plans out for him. All right, two minutes. I don't think any of those players will get hit. Uh, weirdly enough, I see that Gypsy Luna is not having one of one of her bards on the next to her Sultan uh, for some reason. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And she's not. I don't think she got Enchanted Sword as well. So yeah, weird. Uh, but we are closing to four minutes. Um, Zoro still does not have four. Accordionists, to my surprise, he has only three. Okay. Maybe he just got stuck, very unlucky, uh, but it's still weird. Um, yeah. But that will be a surprise if he manages to win a game with three accordionists. Alright, 5 minutes 40 seconds. He activates Zeus now just to kill the Bannerlord. But how will Gypsy Luna die in this game? That will be very surprising if he will win with three accordionists. Like how that hap how that that happen? Okay, he will activate Zeus, so he will be able he should be able to kill the boss. Yeah, he was. Gypsuna got hit. And I don't think she will be able to kill that banner lord. And that is the end. Wow, he won with three accordionists. Maybe it was a visual bug, but on my screen it was three. Wow, okay. <laughs> I can show you the equipment for Genie Sultan. It's pretty standard. Uh, talents as well, pretty standard. Nothing changes for all of those players who play Genie Sultan. So yeah, that's a surprising win. Uh, hopefully you guys like the idea that Bart got another deck to be played with. And yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. If you liked uh, please like and subscribe and if you have any thoughts about the video, about future videos, ideas, down, uh, drop them down below in the comments and of course see you guys in the next video. Hey there, thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.